Step two is to create the local network gateway. Again, local refers to the on-premises side of the site-to-site -site tunnel. The local network gateway defines the local network or the other side of the connection, things like the public IP address and the subnets that exist in that network. Let's configure the local side of the connection in Azure by going to the local network gateway. And we'll create a new local network gateway. Select the subscription and resource group. It would make sense to put this in the same resource group as the virtual network and the gateway we previously created. Select the region that should be the same as the virtual network. Give it a name. I'll use home lab for this example. Provide the public IP address or a fully qualified domain name if you have one for your VPN device. If you have an internet plan that doesn't provide static public IP addresses and that IP address ever changes, it will bring the tunnel down. So you'll have to remember to go in and update those public IP addresses. In that case, consider using a dynamic DNS service along with a host name. Under address spaces, we'll add the subnets that exist in the on-premises network. This is how the VPN connection determines what traffic to send through the tunnel. This example will use the local network range of 192.168.200.0 slash 24. Once validation passes, create. 